Columbia residents voiced their frustrations regarding CPD's use of force following a recent video that has gone viral. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Morgan Burrish. And I'm Lucas Geisler. We have been following this story since the video came out of a CPD officer hitting a man in the face outside of Harpo's on Sunday morning. Tonight, Columbia Citizens Police Review Board was expected to review the department's use of force policy, but that didn't happen. ABC 17's Marina Diaz joins us live from City Hall. Marina, you were there when the board chose to tape its review of CPD's use of force policy. Morgan Lucas, board members unanimously voted to table those discussions on items that they say they've had on the agenda for well before the incident that happened on Saturday. I spoke with a few board members and they told me that this decision was made to allow the community to voice their concerns. Um, we had put this, the, two, the new business items on here prior and just after our last meeting. And I know there's public here that's going to speak to it. Columbia Citizen Police Review Board unanimously voted to table its review of both CPD's use of force and response to resistance policy as well as its body-worn camera policy. Board member Rhonda Carlson says that these policies will continue to be a discussion among board members, but wanted to give the public the chance to speak. Multiple community members stepped up to the podium to voice their frustrations with CPD following a video showing officers hitting a man on the ground, including local activists, a former federal officer, and many others to demand change both from the board and from the police department. I, I encourage you to use whatever influence that you have to get rid of those two punks. As long as you have officers running around treating people like trash, it, it's nothing. We talk about only some bad apples. We forget that a bad apple spoils the whole bunch. And the last thing that I'd like to touch on, I want to know why there has been pretty much no concern for the welfare of the victim of this crime. Morgan Lucas, I spoke to board member Cheryl Miller after the meeting and she told me that she thought the meeting went well, all things considered, and she says that she feels as though it's important for the board to hear those concerns from community members. Rhonda Carlson told me that this will be an ongoing discussion among board members reviewing these policies. Reporting live in Columbia, Marina Diaz, ABC 17 News. I right, thank you, Marina. Anthony Wilroth with Hold Como Accountable said that he's frustrated with the board's decision to table these policy reviews, especially after the police department rescheduled its community meeting to avoid conflicting with this meeting tonight. Next Citizens Police Review Board meeting set for June 14th.